Welcome to this guided practice on how to use a foam roller to promote relaxation and better sleep. Hi, my name is Jessie and I'm a holistic fitness trainer, master yoga teacher and massage therapist here to provide tools that allow you to take your health and your well-being into your own hands. And the foam roller is an accessible and fairly cheap tool that you can use at home to relieve tension, which will help you recover quicker from a stressful day or from a hard workout. Today's session is gonna be simple and relaxing with a focus on increasing mobility through the spine, releasing muscle tension, and helping to increase the movement of fluid through the body, all which is gonna help you get a good night's rest. For today's practice, you're going to need a foam roller. Foam rollers come in different sizes and different densities, and this is really a personal preference. As far as density goes, the harder or the more dense the foam roller, the more intense it is. So if you find that you're rolling and it feels very painful to the point where you can't relax, you probably need to take it down a notch and get a foam roller that is less dense or more soft. If your foam roller has little knobs like mine does here, that's also going to make it more intense. As far as the length of your foam roller, I tend to like to have one of both, a smaller one and then a long one that's as long as my spine. Today, we're gonna do an exercise where we're gonna lay lengthwise along the roller. That'll give you an idea of how, why or how a longer foam roller might be a benefit for you. If you just have a short, smaller foam roller today, don't worry about it. You'll be just fine with whatever you have at home. Along with your foam roller, you're also gonna want a pillow or a towel, something that you can roll up like a burrito or fold up kind of like a burrito, but make sure you have a blanket or towel and your foam roller. All right, let's begin. Grab your roller and we're gonna lay down on our backs. So you can kind of set everything else off to the side. <clears throat> Gently, carefully laying down onto your back with your roller underneath the back of your neck. Let your hips rest on the floor. Adjust your roller so it's kind of wedged into the crevice where your neck meets your shoulders, the upper traps area. And we wanna make sure the head is relaxing. So take a moment to get comfortable. And we're gonna begin with a few breaths. So you don't have to look at me here. I invite you to soften your eyes, maybe even close your eyes. Find a comfortable position for your arms. They could be down by your sides, maybe even a hand resting on your belly. And take a breath. Let out an open mouth exhale. How you are breathing plays a major role in your body's ability to recover. So take another breath. Relax your shoulders, relax your jaw. Allow your head to rest heavy against the support of the foam roller. Just noticing your body lying here. Before we get into too much movement and using the foam roller, we have to allow our our bodies, our minds, our hearts to switch modes. So all day long, you've been in planning, solving, doing mode. And right now, take another breath. You're switching gears. You're using your awareness and your breath to switch gears of the nervous system into the rest and digest part of the nervous system, the parasympathetic nervous system. Feel the breath coming into the body, Feel the breath going out of the body. It really is just this simple, this bringing awareness to your breath, giving yourself permission to be right here, this practice. Learning how to relax is a practice. And in our modern world, our go, go, go kind of world, it's a practice that we have to be pretty disciplined at. So remind yourself, I am here to practice slowing down. I allow my breath to soothe and nurture me. See if you can deepen your inhale a little bit more. Let the breath get into the belly, lengthen the exhale a little bit more. I welcome this practice. And gently, we're gonna turn the head to the right and then turn the head to the left. Just feeling the pressure of the roller against the muscles in the back of the neck. And do that again. Just gently rocking the head side to side. And this is just, allow this to be a practice 
of awareness, a practice of witnessing without judgment, being patient with yourself, being okay with tapping the brake pedal, slowing down, switching gears. Bring your head to center. Knees are bent, feet on the floor. We're gonna gently lift the hips and roll the roller into the upper traps. So for me, I like to kind of lean to one side so that I can pin the roller between that space between my shoulder and my neck. You know, you know what area I'm talking about. The upper traps get so tight and I'm pushing into my feet, kind of pressing, creating some pressure into the upper traps. And then I lower my hips down and I, I just slightly roll to the other side, pinning that roller into the upper traps, the space kind of at the top of the shoulder. Ooh. So your legs are working a bit here. Do it again each side. And when it comes to practices like this, it's about how you feel. So I'm here as a guide. I'm here to offer some suggestions, but what's most important to me is that you're listening to your body. If you need to scale it back, please do. If you find something else that feels good here, add that in, that's okay. You know your body best. And as you relearn how to downregulate your nervous system, you're really starting to listen to your body, listen to your tissues. All right, rest those hips down. Take a big breath into a soft belly. And let a big exhale out. Let's just do one more breath like that. Let the breath get down into the belly. Even think about breathing into your lower back. Now from here, we're gonna roll over to one side and we're gonna find our way onto our bellies. Now the next part where we're gonna use the foam roller is across the bicep into kind of the front of the armpit. We don't wanna go in the armpit, but the front and the pecs. So I'm gonna lay on my belly with my arm out to my side. I'm going right above the arm, uh, elbow armpit, elbow armpit, elbow crease into the bicep. And I'm just gonna roll back and forth just like this. Ooh. Now I'm kind of using my, the hand that's the arm that I'm not foam rolling to kind of push myself back and forth, just gliding along the bicep. Ooh. And take a breath. Trying to relax the arm over the roller as much as possible. And sometimes you might find an area, like I'm feeling, oh, this is definitely, I have a knot or a bundle of muscle tissue in this bicep. And so I'm gonna say, okay, right here, I just wanna hang out for a moment. I could rest my head and just little bounces, breathe, rotate the arm in different ways. Oh, and you'll feel it when you're on a knot. It kind of rolls over, feels bumpy. Whew. And you're going to make your way on this bicep all the way to the front of your shoulder into kind of the front of your chest, into the pecs. Whew. And depending on what you're working with here, you know, it's totally up to you. You can go all the way into the pecs. And I like doing little rocking motions like this, kind of back and forth, back and forth. Mm, big inhale, big exhale. Trying to keep that arm, the arm that you're on, keeping it relaxed as much as possible. And once you feel complete on that side, you're going to do your other arm. And the thing about using the foam roller is you're kind of rolling around on the floor. So you're not going to stay in one place. You're going to be rolling around a little bit. So other arm, we're going in the bicep. Ooh, hello. Trying to soften the face, relax the jaw. If you find an area where ooh, you need to kind of hang out, double back and forth, you might do that. Our biceps and our chest muscles get really tight throughout the day because we live in a very forward moving society, right? Everything's in front of us. We're grabbing things, we're pulling things, we're typing on the computer, we're holding the uh, steering wheel of the car and all that takes some biceps. Oof. So as we use the foam roller, pressing it or compressing it into the muscle tissue, it's almost like squeezing out a sponge. That's the way I like to think about it. So. 
adding that pressure is like squeezing out the sponge, getting rid of, you know, the junk that's in there, cleaning it out a little bit. <sighs> Take a breath. Oh, remember, try to relax that arm over the roller. We're going to do the bicep into the armpit a little bit, front of the chest. And you might have to turn your roller. I noticed here, I was like, hold on, I want to turn my roller a little bit so that I can get my chest. When you're using the roller, we're not trying to roll bone. We're trying to roll muscle. So you got to find the angles where you're getting into this tight muscle tissue. All right, once you're done with both arms, we're gonna come up into all fours and you're gonna grab your blanket. Now, your blanket can be folded like I have it here. You could also roll it like a burrito. And we're gonna place this blanket underneath, right where your belly is, your belly button is, so right across the front of the belly. Now, you could rest your forehead on your roller or your yoga block, or I'm just gonna lay the back of my hands here. So you have, and find a good position with that blanket. You might lay down and be like, okay, I want it a little lower or a little higher. Find a position that feels good for you. Relax your head, relax your shoulders. And right here, we're gonna take five slow, deep breaths. And as you inhale, think about breathing into the blanket. Feel the stretch through the lower back. And as you exhale, let the body soften. Relax your face, relax your jaw, and do it again. Think about breathing into the parts of you, the parts of your body that touch the blanket. Let that breath arise from the inside, soften the outer layers, and then exhale, everything just relaxes. Re-educating our bodies how to unwind. It starts with the breath. Do it again, big breath. And you'll notice your mind will wander, start thinking about things, and part of this practice is guiding it back. You got one more breath here. Filling the abdomen, filling the lower back, and letting it all go. Coming back to your hands, tucking your toes under, press your knees and your hands into the floor so that you can get yourself up safely. You can scoot your blanket off to the side. Now, we got one more on, one more section in the front of the body that I want to use the foam roller, and this is going to be the front of our thighs. So the section is going to be from the top of the knee to the hip crease, right? We're going to roll like this up and down, and you're going to get a middle strip, right, which would be right down the front. Uh, inside middle strip here and then an outer middle strip and i like to do one leg at a time so i place my roller above the or at the top of my knee my other leg is out kind of like a frog leg for support i like to do this on my forearms if you want to do it on your hands you can and we're going to roll from the top of the knee ooh, upwards towards the hip crease and then you kind of army crawl with your elbows to get yourself back to the top of your knee. Sometimes you got to double back and forth a few times. And then we're rolling, we're letting, I'm trying to allow, right now I'm on my right leg, my right leg to relax over the roller as much as possible. So I'm really trying to remind myself to relax that right foot and let my muscles really absorb into the roller as I push upwards towards my hip crease. And then you can rotate the leg a little bit. So I'm turning my toes in. So now I'm going to get that outer strip. I don't want to roll the IT band, but I do want to get a different angle of this, these quadricep muscles. So I'm trying to let my thigh relax, I'm trying to absorb the roller as I press. And I'm going slow. Right, we're trying to promote relaxation here. Find another section. Really thinking about these long strokes. These long strokes from the top of the knee all the way into the hip crease. Take a breath. Make sure you get that more medial thigh or that inner thigh. So I kind of have to turn myself a little bit. My knee and my toes point out. And now I'm on that inner strip. 
towards the inner thigh, a little bit more medial. If there's any areas you need to double back and forth, you might do that. And then we'll switch legs. Just keeping this easy. And I know you might be saying, wait, Jesse, this isn't very easy. Uh, there's a little bit of work you have to do with the foam roller. The foam roller is an awesome tool because it starts at the top of your knee. It acts as kind of a massage therapist. I know it's not as relaxing as going to get a massage, but you're still going to get some of those same benefits. When a massage therapist is working your muscles, you know, they're kneading the muscle tissue, they're, they're doing these long strokes, all that helps get the tension out of the muscle, promoting relaxation. <sighs> oh. Try to let your thigh muscle relax, get a different angle. If you need to double back and forth over any super tight areas, do that. Oh, you got to breathe. And you might find an area, like I just found one here, where I'm like, that's definitely a knot. And so I'm going to hang out here. I'm going to do some gentle rocking for a moment. I'm going to breathe. And then I'll continue my way, pushing upwards towards my hip crease. Nice long strokes here. You got two more. Finding different angles. As you get the tension out of the muscle tissue, the tension, the tightness, it helps to encourage a movement of fluid through the body. Because when the muscles are tight and tense, when the tissue is dense, it restricts blood flow, restricts the movement of lymph, also restricts how our nerves, our nervous system is able to communicate with the body. So adding this compression with the foam roller is a wonderful way to, you know, wring out the dirty sponge, which makes it a lot easier for your body to move fluid through, getting rid of toxins, bringing fresh blood to the area. All right, finishing up that side. And now we're gonna flip around and we're gonna sit on the roller. Mm. Take a breath. I know sometimes rolling out the quads can be quite intense. And so if you need to shake them out a little bit, that's okay. Place your hands behind you, either fingertips, fingers spread wide. You're using your fingertips. You can use your fists. Also be nice to your wrists. And we're going to roll our booty. So I'm leaning to one side. I might have to move my arms a little bit. I'm just rolling back and forth on that glute muscle. The glutes are big, thick, dense muscles. And sometimes I'll find a different angle. So from the sacrum, which is the hard part at the back of your hips, right on the edge of that sacrum, so not the bone, but right on the edge where the muscle connects into the sacrum can be very, very dense. So sometimes going sideways so that you can kind of scrape into that edge there where it gets really that tissue gets really dense and you once again this is about you finding what feels good for your body you know your body best do one cheek and then you do the other hands are active just be nice to your wrists make sure you're utilizing your fingertips take a big inhale and a big exhale Now, our next move, this is where if you have a very dense, knobby roller, this might not feel the best. So you're gonna have to play with what you have. And if your foam roller is too dense, you might just skip this part. We're gonna go through it pretty quick. If you have hair like I have here, you might wanna you know, pull it over your shoulder or grab onto it, giving yourself a hug. You're sitting on your roller. You might need to scoot back a little bit. And we're gonna roll up and down, I gotta grab my mic too. We're gonna roll up and down the spine. So I'm using my legs, I'm rounding into my back, pulling my belly in, and I'm pushing into my feet to roll up and down my spine. Tuck your chin a little bit, take a breath. Oh, and you can do this as much as you'd like, as many times as you'd like. You might find, okay, whoa, I'm running into the plants behind me and I gotta, readjust again and that's okay too 
and then we're going to come on up. Now you're going to turn your foam roller so it's lengthwise. If you are working with a short foam roller, make sure you have your yoga block or your blanket nearby. Your blanket or your yoga block nearby. So we want to make sure the hips are supported and we're going to lay lengthwise along the roller. Now, even my roller here, my head isn't supported. So this is where I would grab my yoga block and I would find a setting with that yoga block that where my head is supported. If you're using a shorter roller, it looks like this. The roller will be right along in between the shoulder blades, right on the back of the ribs. The hips would start on the floor. I probably would, the, my foam roller, this short foam roller is pretty short. So I would still use a yoga block under my head. And then I would take my blanket, lift my hips and put, prop my hips up on my blanket. So I have, so I, I'm more in a long line. I don't want my back overly arched because we're trying to relax here. Arms by your sides, palms face up. And this is a good spot to just breathe. Big inhale, big exhale. If you feel comfortable, it really just depends on the equipment that you're working with. You could give yourself another hug and roll side to side in between the shoulder blades. And if you're working with a long foam roller, you'll be able to get the whole spine, maybe even you know rolling out your booty a little bit more. You could even roll all the way kind of into the armpits. Use your legs, relax your face, take a breath. You get to play with that as much as you need to. And remember, you can also just lay here and breathe. This is a good spot to just relax. Re-educate your body to down-regulate the nervous system, to switch gears, to release so that your body and your mind and your heart can recover from your day. Whatever you're doing here, take one more breath. Slowly roll over to your favorite side. We're gonna go back to where we started. So we're gonna put our roller underneath the back of the neck. We're almost done here. Take a breath, let your hips rest on the floor. Make sure you're comfortable. And you're gonna take your peace fingers, so your first two fingers, and bring the fingers to your face right at the, the top of the jaw. So you're gonna feel your cheekbones on the sides of your face. And then you'll feel where your jaw muscle starts, right? You can kind of press into there gently. And you're gonna take a big inhale and a big exhale and gently press into that area and draw little circles. Relax your jaw. And as you draw circles, you're gonna pull down towards your jawline. Opening your mouth, relaxing your face. And then you'll do it again. You're gonna come back to the top. So find the cheekbone right underneath there. That's where you start. You're gonna take a breath and you'll draw little circles, pulling down towards the jawline. Letting the mouth open a little bit, smooth out the eyebrows. Now this time, we're gonna start at the top again. As you pull down, you're gonna open your mouth as wide as you can. Maybe even stick your tongue out a little bit. Just gently pressing to whatever level feels appropriate for you. Let's do it one more time. This masseter muscle, this jaw muscle, is holds a lot of energy and as we're trying to promote relaxation and sleep, this is a good muscle to release. And that's what we're doing with this. So fingers, peace fingers, press into that space, start at the top. And as you pull down, you're slowly opening your jaw, maybe sticking your tongue out. The tongue muscles connected to the muscles in the neck. And so as you stick it out, you're able to release some of that chaos ah, in the neck and the throat. And then release your arms. Soften your eyes or close your eyes. And finish with three more slow, deep breaths as you inhale. Get the breath into the belly. And as you exhale, allow your body to relax a little bit more.
and do it again. Just tuning into this moment, down-regulating your nervous system with your breath, with your awareness, softening the muscles, softening the body. You are welcome to lay here as long as you need to. It might be nice to rock the head side to side again. Whenever you are ready to come out of this, please roll over to your side first and then slowly come on up so that as you're releasing or you're coming off, off the ground, you're coming up with a sense of centeredness, a sense of calm. Instead of if we shoot up with our chin, we're going to cause a lot of tension in the back of the neck. So just be mindful as you transition. If you found this video helpful, please help me by liking and subscribing. Thank you so much for sharing this relaxing foam rolling practice with me. May you have a wonderful night's rest and I hope to see you next time.